Supporters of Julius Jones, this is not a complete outcome that they wanted. He will now, as Markey said, spend life in prison with no possibility of parole. So what does that mean exactly? April Prayer is a defense attorney who has been following this case. So April, does Julius Jones have any legal recourse here or does the governor's decision today mean the end of the road? It doesn't necessarily mean the end of the road. It means that the governor saved his life. It does not mean that the case is going to be retried. It does not mean that he's going to have a second bite at the apple. So his best shot 20 years in normally means that all of your appeals have likely been exhausted. And so your best shot at getting a, a chance to have a second trial would be if someone who was in the original trial recanted, meaning took back their original testimony. And it sounds like his co-defendant may have done so. If he does so formally, that in addition to the racial slur that was made by the juror may give him an opportunity, but it's still a long shot. So today the victory is that his life was saved and that he lives another day to fight that battle. But it, it doesn't look like the uh, governor's actions will not determine what happens with him getting a retrial or not. It has, one has nothing to do with the other. What about if there's another governor in the future? Can they overturn this decision? That's a, that's a great question. My guess would be no, because the commutation today, it commuted his sentence from death to a life sentence with no opportunity for parole. Can another governor come in and reconsider that? I can't say with certainty, but my guess is no. Okay, and legally speaking, what would be the governor's motivation in making this decision today, one in which he said was difficult? I think it was largely based on the fact that the parole board recommended that they said that they had some doubt regarding his sentence, regarding whether he was actually the one who pulled the trigger or not, which is highly unusual. And I think with that and the pressure from the media and the pressure from the public and the pressure from the family and their supporters may have swayed the governor to say, well, you know what, I'm not certain if this was the person who pulled the trigger. I'm not certain if this is the person who took Mr. Howe's life. So rather than chance it, let's give him the opportunity to to again fight another day. Very interesting. April Prayer, always good. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.